Guys, so we just got home from Aldi and a lot of you guys have been wanting to see my family's sort of um, stockpile of things that we've been stocking up on, especially ever since um, COVID-19 and all that craziness happened. Um, and so I thought I would show you first um, our nice uh, <laughs> 19, I think it's a 1989, it's an 80s model um, hot point uh, fridge. She's a beauty, isn't she? So if you're new here, my name is Jessie Fearon, and I've been sharing my family's real life on a budget and our entire debt-free journey that took us seven years from start to finish. Um, we paid off over $55,000 of consumer debt on a $45,000 a year salary in two years. We are now 100% debt-free, which yes, means we outright own our home um, and we own everything that we have. So everything we have, we have paid in cash for. That's from our, our cars to our camper to our boats and everything else. Everything is paid for in cash. Um, and part Part of that debt-free journey was, of course, was learning how to save and conserve our money, um, especially when it came to the grocery budget, because being a family of five, um, it can get very expensive after a while. But um, but we've also been wanting to stock up on some essentials for our family, especially because of everything that happened with the pandemic. All right, so here is our uh, so not beautiful, not clean uh, brown fridge. Um, but in here, we tried to keep um, just like excess, like we have the extra um, half and half, um, just a few other little extra um, food items. That's a, a cobbler that somebody made us. Um, but the real place where we store stuff is in here. This is the freezer. And as you can see, we have our stockpile of meats in here, as well as some frozen veggies. A lot of our frozen veggies are actually upstairs um, in our upstairs freezer. And we freeze our butter. We don't use any, um, we don't use any margarine or anything. Um, we use real butter. And so we just, um, we keep it in the freezer until we need to, to use it. Um, and as you see, it's kind of a mess and completely disorganized. As and I, we have discussed um, getting like a big chest freezer or a deep freezer um, in order to help with this problem. Um, so that may or may not be something we do because we've also discussed before getting a like a, a half cow or a whole cow um, as well because I have been noticing that beef prices in particular, not chicken prices, but beef prices have been kind of going up. And so, and sorry, we're in my like a dirty garage and that's this is making for a real good uh, YouTube background, isn't it? And I'm also sweating because it's like 90 degrees and it's September. Welcome to living in the South. So we just came home from Aldi and my boys um, who are being homeschooled right now. They are um, currently helping me unload the car and put all of the groceries up. So I'm going to show you here on this wall here. We have these cabinets here. These are some cabinets that my husband pulled off a job years and years ago um so they're they're like they're um commercial grade cabinets um and i'll stand back here in a second so you can actually see um how many there are so we've been using this to help with storage because our house was built in 1979 we don't have a lot of storage space at all which really sucks um so but we have like you'll we have like some christmas decorations in here and some easter stuff and then we just had like other random stuff in here but once covid happened we decided to try to um I fill this up with as much food as possible, as non-perishable foods as possible. Okay, so here is, these are the cabinets. Like I said, they're not real pretty. Um, and they have stuff in them like Easter stuff and Halloween stuff. Um, but they also have our stockpile. So in this cabinet, we have mostly like pastas. We have some snacky stuff up there. Um, but we have mostly pasta stuff and um, broth. Like there is so much chicken stock beef broth um or beef stock, excuse me, in there. It's not even funny. Um, but so we have a ton of that because even though I do make my own homemade chicken stock, um, we decided that we wanted to have store bought as well as the homemade stuff and keep the homemade stuff for when we're sick. See, there's Christmas stuff and extra pillows for outside. Um, in this cabinet, we've been trying to keep as much canned food items as possible. We did bring some of these canned good items upstairs, um, because we needed to use them and I forget, oh, we had, um, so we did have more, um, pasta up there, but then we took that out and brought it upstairs and used it and ate that. So, um, we're trying to make sure that we're actually still eating this stuff and not just hoarding it. Um, so here we have some cereal. We have coffee because everybody needs coffee. We have our cooking oils. We have extra jar gar garlic and then just sort of other random things. Like we have, um, extra salt and pepper back there. Um, and then this was, um, some stuff that was just given to us by our neighbor. There you have it. Um, that was sort of the grand tour of our 
quote-unquote stockpile. Um, it's not as stocked as we would like it to be yet, but um, we do have plans to keep on just stocking up the canned goods. Unfortunately, you know, because of COVID, um, a lot of stores um, put a limit on how much um, canned food items that you can purchase at a time. Um, so that's been kind of causing us little issues on um, stockpiling our canned good um, stuff. So hoping that we'll be able to beef that up um, here within the next couple of weeks, especially before like winter and the cold and flu season actually start showing up. So um, hopefully we'll be able to do that. But let me know in the comment section, um, what is one item that you plan to stock up on for the cold and flu season that you just absolutely can't live without? I would love to hear what you, uh, what you include in your stockpile.